I'm going to do a quick demonstration. And to do this, all you need is a Bluetooth speaker playing a tone. So watch and listen. What did you notice as I swung that tone around my head in a circle? Did you notice that the tone changed? I'm going to do this again, and I want you to pay attention to exactly how the tone changes and when it changes. You might have noticed that as the speaker was swinging toward you, the pitch increased. And as the speaker was swinging away from you, the pitch decreased. This is a demonstration of what's called the Doppler effect. And we're gonna talk about why this works. Let's look at what's going on in this demonstration of the Doppler effect. As I swung the speaker around my head, we heard a higher pitch while it was moving toward the camera. When it moved away from the camera, we heard a lower pitch. Why? The reason has to do with the behavior of waves. Sound waves propagate through air in a pattern made up of compressions and rarefactions. A compression is the part of the wave where air particles are packed more densely, while a rarefaction is where particles are less dense. In a given medium, such as air, sound waves will always travel at the same speed. The speaker produced a 500 Hz tone, meaning that if everyone is at rest, 500 wave cycles pass the observer every second. 500 hertz is the tone's frequency. There's a distance of about 68 centimeters between each wave. This distance is called the wavelength. If the speaker moves forward, the sound waves sort of bunch up in front of it, a bit like water in front of a fast-moving boat. We can assume that the velocity of the sound waves in air is constant, so instead of adding speed to the waves, the speaker subtracts from the wavelength. An observer in front of the speaker would hear a higher frequency because more waves pass each second. The wavelength is shorter, in this case about 57 centimeters compared to the original 68. If the speaker moves backward, we observe the opposite. Once again, the velocity of the waves in the air is constant, so instead of the waves moving slower, the speaker adds to the wavelength. The waves stretch out, this time to about 86 centimeters instead of the original 68. As a result, the frequency drops. So this is the reason we observed a higher pitch when the speaker was swinging toward you, the observer. The wavelength decreased, resulting in a higher frequency. This is also why we heard a lower pitch as the speaker swung away. The wavelength increased, resulting in a lower frequency. It's easy to hear the Doppler effect at a racetrack as the cars pass by. You can also observe the Doppler effect if an emergency vehicle passes you at a high velocity with its siren on.